Hi, welcome to Searsha's Shelf. Do you want to come on into my library? We have all the animals in here today. This is Nymeria, the library dog. Okay, bye. We have Caddy, you remember? Right, and here's Springer. And yes, I know that my chair is completely covered in hair, but that's okay. So this is the vintage chair that I was talking about. It's my reading chair, and it has a pillow with the Brontes on it. You'll notice my shirt and this, which I got in Haworth, where the Brontes lived. I have a lot of Bronte things in here. Okay, I'll take you around. I put this little quote up here. You can change that out if you want to. I've got a little Charlotte Bronte up there. Oh, there's my degree. And here I like to write the book that I'm reading. And then the book that I'm going to read next, but it's not updated, so excuse me, I've already read both of those books. Um, this painting was painted by my great-grandmother, and this is my grandmother's desk, which I use for writing, so here's my laptop. And I'll keep candles over there. Um, these are all the books that I read. She's right in the way. These are all the books that I read this month. And I'll talk about those in another video, I think. And then I already showed you these are the books that I'll read this month. Okay. Okay. Alright, and then this is my typical office chair. Nothing special about it. So over here, we have the treasures. Let's take a look. Alright. So let's start with, up at the top, we have all of my young adult books. I have a lot, I told you. So I've read... All of these. I have not read this shelf. I have not read that shelf. Most of those are unread, which, you know, like I said, I bought them when I was a teenager and I never got around to them. I've read these, these, those, those. Those are all young adult. And then I have my newer ones. So I started buying these as an adult. I've read these, these, I've read these. Oh, here's more young adult. I've read those. This is my Bronte shelf. We've got a whole shelf. Take a look. You can see I have the different editions of Jane Eyre. I have graphic novels. I have Professor. I've got all my Villettes. Wuthering Heights. And then my little Charlotte portrait. Okay, and then we have the Tolkien shelf where I've got my little Frodo and Sam, and then my little audiobooks, I used to love listening to those. And yes, these copies are very worn out, that's because I was in third grade and I would carry them to school every day and I would just destroy them. But you can see the things that I didn't get secondhand and the things I didn't read when I was a kid, they're in pretty good condition. We have Shakespeare here. So some nice fancy Hamlet, and this is like a super old one with all the works of Shakespeare in it. And of course you need your No Fear Shakespeare, so you understand what's going on. And then I've got these over here are unread. These are like, I don't know, it's, it's kind of random over here, I have to admit. I have like reference books and then a lot of ones that I had when I was really young. Like down here, these are all kind of old. Um, like big books and then I've got my yearbooks and these are like ones that I inherited I guess from my mom or my sister we have all the little prairie ones she used to read those to me and we've got like some school books some more young adult and then more adult down here we've got some old Cinderella books and, check this out, this is my typewriter, and I swear it does work, I just haven't used it in a while, um, but I would like to get back into that because it is really fun, and I've put this little Bronte quote here. Here we have the Harry Potter shelf, pretty cool, I like to collect um, different editions of the seventh book, so I have the American one, I have the French and I have 
the English. And I um, actually got this one the day that it came out in England. It was the day that I flew there. It was the release day, so it was pretty exciting. Chocolate frog. Stay. Okay. Can I show all these? These are new, but like, I've already read all of them. I haven't read these. So yeah. Like I said, there is a system here. Only I know the system. Anybody else would be very confused by this. But it makes sense to me. I know I have to read these three shelves. And eventually, the young adult ones if I get to it. So, what else is in here? Um, I've got under here some manuscripts. So I've written, like I said, I wrote three books. I'm working on the fourth. So I put those in there, and then I've got like reference books and you know how to write your novel, that type of thing. And then the rest of those are over here. So these are my. I would always print like two copies of a manuscript, so I have one that was for me to look at and edit, and then one to like give to my family so they can read it. Um, I've got those three up here, and I actually got one of them printed on like a book printing machine, so that's just kind of cool. It's still really a rough draft though. And I have a globe. This is my getting up to the top shelves ladder. Pretty exciting. So, it's nice in here, the cats love it, dog likes it sometimes, it's very cozy. Yeah, so I guess that's kind of it. Anything else? I don't know. I'll think of something. I'll see you next